Hey, it's Pete, GCI Turf. I got asked the other day on edging. How I keep my edges on my yard so clean and crisp. Well, to start with, you need a trimmer that will uh, give you enough power to do so. A lot of the <coughs> Lowe's, uh, you know, little cheap after or cheap knockoff imitation versions they just don't create enough power to cut the grass the way it needs to be cut so i use the srm uh, 225 echo and it's a homeowner version of the echo but it has plenty of power to do this so what we do or what i do is i'll use this string right here as an example but you want to find your edge where your grass stops and kind of it's right here and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along the edge and I'm going to hold my trimmer straight up to where my line is straight up and down I'm not going to lay the trimmer back because if I do that I'm going to cut into the yard too much if you do that it's going to make your edges weak and thin and you're going to get weeds come up around the edges and the grass isn't going to look good around the edges so I want it nice and straight up, just like that. Not leaned over, not leaned backwards, but straight up and down. When I edge, I hold the trimmer gas wide open. This way, it gives me plenty of power to cut through this thick turf right here. Um, I don't edge my, my beds but about every three weeks, simply because I like for them to get nice and full and dense before I edge them. Because if you edge them to death and you edge them every single week, they're going to get weak and thin. So this is something you don't want to do all the time. So, <clears throat> and I'll, 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 I'll take this and just kind of go right along the edge and, and cut me a little line that goes all the way around. And then after that, I come back and mow and I let my mower deck, I, I never edge and then take the weed eater and cut this edge with the weed eater. I never, ever, ever do that like this because I want this grass right here on the edge to be the exact same height as my mowed grass, my finished cut grass out here in the yard. So I'll let the mower deck hang over slightly as I'm going through here. And another thing is I always edge first before I mow because when you edge you're going to dig up a few pine needles they're going to get scattered in the yard a little bit that way when i go back with the mower it kind of flushes all that out or, or cleans all that up for me so i don't have to go back with a blower and do it so uh i'm going to stick this camera on this edger on this trimmer somehow if i can get it on here I need a quick connect thing for this. And I'm going to edge out some beds and hopefully you can get a good view on this. All right, let's see. Definitely need a quick connect. If I'm gonna keep doing these videos. All right, I think we're good there. All right, here we go.
so you can see you can see this edge here how nice and crisp that is then when I come back with my mower cut it I'll have a nice squared off edge here so I hope this helps this if you do it this way it will cut down on weeds tremendously uh, by keeping your edges thick because most of the time your weeds are going to come up around the edges uh, before they come up anywhere else um, the other thing is sidewalks driveways hard surface areas out by the road never use a trimmer on those I always use a blade type stick edger uh, no matter how good you are no matter how long you've been doing it it's very difficult to keep a perfectly straight line uh, against your driveway so I always use a stick edger for that and it'll keep that nice uh, nice clean look that you're looking for and uh, when after I overseed the yard uh, and it thickens back up I'll make I'll do a little video on the uh, stick edging and some of my little tricks I use for that. Appreciate it. See you later.